Hello, I'm Steve Elliott. Today I'd like to talk to you about constant bear. As you may know, constant bear was invented by Chung Man Cheng, the late great Chung Man Cheng. Chung said that constant bear contains all there is to know about Tai Chi in one exercise. I've studied Chung's writings uh, in depth over the last couple decades and have been working with the uh, essential idea of constant bear and have uh, created an exercise which I believe is uh, consistent with what Chung intended in every regard. It goes like this. You start in the Wuji posture. Wuji, as you may know, requires the legs to be completely perpendicular. Head to be lifted, shoulders to be down, bodies otherwise relaxed. Uh, in this posture, then we sort of elongate the body so that the head lifts. This is what I like to call man connected between heaven and earth. And you attach the mind to the navel. Really, uh, Wuji must be practiced for a period of time before you can really understand and comprehend uh, constant bear well. So please understand that, that uh, what I'm going to show you now with constant bear is predicated on a prior understanding of Wuji. Once we have uh, Wuji working for us, we practice constant bear, we'll separate the feet by a little more distance in sort of a narrow horse stance. And here we're going to alternate. We stay in the Wuji posture. Everything else about Wuji is completely uh, consistent. And we begin to shift the body to the right leg. Um, the weight is down into the right heel and ankle. And we lift the left. Notice my left foot. The left foot is lifted, heel down. The body is turned. The front knee, sorry, the right knee is staying straight forward. It is not twisting. The twisting is going on here at the hip. That is the, uh, the pelvis uh, swiveling on the hip joint. Uh, then we would move back to center and then to the other side. The weight is all on my left leg except for uh, my right heel touching down here. The right foot is up. There's a perfect alignment here. When you get it, you can feel it throughout your whole body. Back to center, back to the other side. Again, everything's consistent about Wuji except the body's not twisted. The left leg is the left foot is lifted. And back to the other side. You can feel this in very, very short order. What actually happens is that uh, we're stimulating the left and right channels alternately um, and divided below the waist. That is, the right leg, left arm, left leg, right arm, etc. And very quickly you'll be able to feel the chi in your body sloshing back and forth, if you will, as we move into this exercise. Eventually, you want to synchronize it with your breathing so that you're inhaling at the peak of uh, the movement, and then we're exhaling to center, inhaling to the peak of the movement, exhaling to center, inhaling to the peak of the movement, exhaling to center. When we're finished, we'll go back to Gucci posture. Legs are plumb, heads lifted, relaxed, and mind attached to the navel or chi sunk to the dantian, as Chuck Man Ching used to say. And that's the end. Thank you.